Hey guys, welcome to Data Check, your one-stop channel for all the data science and machine learning updates. In today's video, we will see how can one fine-tune a Falcon open source LLM model on any custom data sets. So let's get started. Also, I want to let you know that I have created a series of videos on LLMs. The first video is on understanding the technology behind ChatGPT, how a GPT model is pre-trained and how a pre-trained GPT model is fine-tuned on question answer data set to get chat GPT. What is reinforcement learning through human feedback which is RLHF, what is few sort inferences and much more I have covered in the first video. In the second video I have covered the good, bad and ugly side of the LLMs which is the good side. It's very useful while on the other side it has some biases, ethical issues, it hallucinates and so on. So I have covered those parts in the second video also i have covered some open source llms which are available and in my in the recent video i have covered some of the recent research topics like sparse attention flash attention quantization pruning distillation low rank adapters and so on and these of the concepts like lora distillation pruning quantization has made it possible that in today's video we will uh, use a free google collab GPU along with the free resource whatever we get in Google Colab to fine tune a Falcon model because of this quantization LoRa and all these advanced techniques. So I have covered it also in one of the videos. So uh, I will add the link of all these videos in the description section and with that let's move to the today's topic that is how can one fine tune Falcon model on any custom data set. First I will take you through this blog which is published in Hugging Face the falcon has landed in the hugging face ecosystem to understand bit details of the falcon model and then we will fine tune it. The falcon model uh, is composed of two base models falcon 40 billion parameters and its little brother falcon 7 billion parameters. The 40 billion models currently tops the chart of open source LLM leaderboard. Uh, for a time being it was on the top of open source leaderboard but not at the moment. At the moment there are more advanced models like Llama 2 which are available which are in the top of the leaderboard. Uh, but when the Falcon model was launched it was at the top. You can see currently Llama, Free, Free Willy and so on. But Falcon should be somewhere there. Yeah it's there somewhere in the uh, maybe top 20 or so on. So on. Uh, in the next video, we will look at how can one fine tune Llama 2 model on any uh, custom data set. But this video, let's focus on Falcon. So Falcon is uh, available in two versions, 40 billion and 7 billion parameters. And as well as the instruct version of the model is available. Falcon 7 billion instruct and Falcon 40 billion instruct. So, so what is an instruct model? Uh, like chat GPT, we have a base model GPT-3 on which we do fine tuning to get chat GPT. So similarly, the base models are Falcon 40 billion and Falcon 7 billion, while the instruct versions are fine tuned on instruction and conversational data. It is more of question answering data set to get the instruct versions of the model. And um, one can download these models and see how the results are in conversational kind of uh, 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 scenarios where you can ask a question and get, get an answer. And also Falcon 7 billion, 40 billion have been trained on 1.5 trillion and 1 trillion tokens respectively. The key ingredients for the high quality of Falcon model is the training data predominantly based on refined web. So normally the GPT model is pre-trained on next word prediction on the entire de internet data. Here uh, it's trained on refined web which appears to be a version of internet data but a refined version. A part of it some of the interesting features of Falcon models are multi-query attention. So in, in the, in, in the uh, video where I have covered this flash attention and so on, I have covered multi-query attention as well. Uh, here just briefly covering it, multi-query attention basically means uh, each attention ha has its own key query and value vectors, right? But in multi-query attention, uh, only the query vectors is different per attention head but the key and value vectors are shared across all attention head. And what is the advantage? The advantage is that it improves the scalability of the inference. The reason being because there is only one copy of key and uh, value vector 
it the, the memory requirement is less and it can fit into the GPU and result in a scalable and faster inference. So these are some of the techniques which are used in Falcon model. A part of the advanced data set on which it is pre-trained on plus these uh, sophisticated techniques like multi-query attention makes it uh, more uh, better and faster and is scalable in the inference. And uh, also in the blog, the inferencing details has been covered. You can download the 7 billion instruct model and see how it does in question answering data set. For example, here they have asked the question, write a poem about Valencia and the model outputs. Valencia, the city of the sun, the city that glitters like a star, a city of a thousand colors where the night is illuminated by stars. Valencia, the city of my heart, where the past is kept in the golden chest. It's a beautiful poem which has been obtained just from Falcon 7 billion instruct model. But in our fine tuning example, which we will see, we will use the base model because we want to uh, use the base model and fine tune it on our question answering data set and see the results. And also the block covers how to inference on 40 billion, the higher parameter Falcon model and also the model covers uh, how it's evaluated the about the open source leader, leaderboard that I was talking about and how we can fine tune it with PEFT. PEFT is efficient uh, fine tuning library for uh, LLMs where the P stands for uh, parameter efficient fine tuning uh, library. It's, 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 it's a library which helps in efficient fine tuning uh, and also uh, it uh, the, the BEF library uses QLORA approach which is a very famous paper combining the uh, advantage of quantization along with LORA. I have covered this in my last video uh, these topics in details but again here what LORA does is uh, the uh, pre-trained weights of the models are freezed and some adapters LORA stands for low rank adapters the adapters are attached in the linear layer which are which are of lesser parameters and it, those are of lesser parameters because they utilize the technique of matrix factorizations and these uh, low rank adapters are tuned during the fine tuning and also it uses the quantization technique that is loading floating point weights and all the uh, model parameters in uh, in 8 bit or 4 bit uh, data types which results in reduced memory of the model that's why we are able to fine tune this 7 billion parameter model in a single free GPU resource that we get in through Google Colab and also uh, in the fine tuning we will use the TRL library uh, and uh, the and the data set which has been used for training in this blog is uh, Guanaco data set but in our example we will use some other even more interesting data set which, which will make more sense so with that let's go to the actual training notebook and we will see what uh, we have done in our uh, fine tuning example. So first of all the important libraries are installed like the transformer libraries, the bits and bytes libraries, data set libraries and so on. Next as I was telling we will fine tune it not on the uh, data set which the blocks uses the Guanaco data set but we will use it on some other data set and that data set is the Instacart data set. Instacart is one of my favorite data set it's openly available in uh, Kaggle. So I downloaded the data set only the two files of it which is product.csv and department.csv and also I have uh, given here the details of the data set which is the Instacart data set and the reason this is my favorite data set because I have worked in e-commerce so I am able to relate with it uh, 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 more because it's from the e-commerce domain. So from the data we will just use two files department.csv and product.csv. So I have loaded the two files product.csv and department.csv and I have split it into training and test data. So uh, I have joined the two files product and department. Now each product will belong to some department right. For example organic caraway seeds will belong to pantry, root vegetable cakes will belong to frozen, laundry detergent will belong to household and so on. 
so this is the product name and which department it belongs to additionally what i have done in this data set is added one extra column which is the text column and which contains the question answer data set which i want it to be fine tuned on and in my case the question answer is product name and department name given the product name is question i want department name as an answer so in this column i have given the product name with separated by this delimiter arrow and colon and then the department name and this is what i will fine tune it on and during the inference i will just give it the question that is just the product name and i would like it to uh, give me emit out the department name so this is my train data this is my test data on which i will see the uh, performance how what it has learned and then i have also converted my training data into this data set dict format because this is the format it requires uh, the library requires us to uh, massage the training data and provide it on next i have loaded the falcon 7 billion model i have loaded the uh, falcon 7 billion sarded base model the uh, this sarded base model uh, what i have seen in a single node gpu with the free resources that we get with google collab this sarded one is easily able to load uh, while some other 7 billion parameter model sometimes give problem but the sarded one uh, works well so i have loaded this uh, model it will take few minutes one or two minutes to load the model and then i have also used the tokenizer uh, to tokenize the words so basically all the words that we see to the model these are converted into tokens and provided right so this auto tokenizer auto tokenizer will help to convert the words into token next i want to see that before i fine tune my model on the above data set if i just use the non fine tune word version that is just the base model what it gives so the base model here has learned from internet to predict the next word so it will give me just some next word right so let's see what it gives on, on the input of free and clear stage for overnight diapers i expect it to give me the department name after fine tuning but before fine tuning you can see it just gives me the dollar the amount of it and it gives some other product and its amount because it's just emitting that what could be the next word not what i want what i want to fine tune it on what type of answer i am expecting that is the department name it has not been fine tuned on that till now similarly for bread rolls it's giving two cup bread crumbs three tablespoon butter something something and similarly for french milled over almond gourmet soap it's giving the amount price and something this is a wonderful almond fragmented soap with a light almond scent the soap is made with french milled soap base to make it very gentle to the skin this uh, there are no reviews for this product awesome um, summary it gives but that is not what i expect i expect it to give me the department name so next what i will do is i will load the peft library and the lora config lora as i was telling it's a low rank adapters it uh, adds adapters in the linear layer and only those uh, low pa lesser parameters based on this multi uh, matrix factorization method only those are learned so i have added these adapters to the linear layers uh, these are the four linear layers query key value dense dense h24h these are the linear layers on which i have added the adapters next i will use the uh, transformer library and the training arguments if you can see uh, we can train it for a number of steps i have given it just 120 steps i want it to fine tune on and log in every step it's seen that these base models are very knowledgeable they have trained on whole internet data they have huge parameters and with very small amount of data they are able to fine tune so i have just fi fine tuned it for 120 steps and logged in every step next i will use the sft trainer library and uh, call the main function which is trainer.train and it will train for 120 epochs or the steps and you can see that the training loss reduces now let's come to the interesting part how the results are uh, i have seen that the inference is slower so i have just inference for 25 samples and uh, let's see the results this is how the results look like product name was free and clear stage for overnight diaper actual department was babies and what it predicted was babies and uh, it predicts lot of words but i am just uh, paying attention to the first few words if you see babies babies frozen frozen alcohol alcohol 
सो वनीला अनसुटेड कैस्यू मिल्क डेरी एक्स डेरी एक्स मिनी साइज चॉकलेट कैंडी बार्स वेराइटी मिक्स स्नैक्स स्नैक्स इंटरनेशनल इंटरनेशनल सो यू कैन सी दैट फॉर ऑल माई डेटा पॉइंट इट्स हंड्रेड परसेंट एक्यूरेट इज लर्न द एग्जैक्ट डिपार्टमेंट नेम दो आफ्टर द डिपार्टमेंट नेम इट इज गिविंग सम मोर वर्ड्स बट इफ आई फोकस ओनली ऑन द इनिशियल फ्यू वर्ड्स इट इज गिविंग मी द राइट डिपार्टमेंट नेम सो या सो दिस इज द एग्जाम्पल वीर दी सॉ हाउ वी कैन डाउनलोड द फालकन मॉडल जस्ट यूज ए फ्री गूगल कॉल एम नॉट बू कैन यूज यूटिलाइज द लाइब्रेरीज लाइक पैफ्ट एंड द टेक्नोलॉजीज इट प्रोवाइड्स लाइक द लोडा फंक्शनलिटी अलॉन्ग विद द एस एफ टी ट्रेनर लाइब्रेरी टू क्विकली फाइन ट्यून इट एंड देन सी रिजल्ट ऑन एनी कस्टम डेटा सेट इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो वी विल सी हाउ टू फाइन ट्यून ए लामा टू मॉडल विच इज जस्ट रिलीज फ्यू डेज बैक एंड मेड ओपन सोर्स सो सी यू इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो एंड प्लीज डोंट फॉरगेट टू सब्सक्राइब एंड लाइक द वीडियो बाय